uh, welcome guys in my youtube channel so in this session we are going to show you how to add any python file to your pyspark environment so here we are going to use databrick community edition which is totally free for you and you can do add number of practice and whenever you want to do some head hands on your pyspark skills so here so before going to start our session i request you please like share and comment my on my videos and please subscribe my channel if you do not yet and please don't forget to press the bell icon and it will alert it will send an alert to you whenever i am going to upload any new videos so let's start our session okay so you know we are using a number of configuration kind of stuff like uh, to store our uh, credential for any environment like for sql server for aws credentials azure anyhow so i am going to log in on my databricks edition so here you can see this is a data science engineering kind of stuff and uh, i'm going to show you how how i'm going to add my uh, existing data file uh, actually i have already a uh, python file which is containing my uh, uh, aws s3 credentials so here i am going to store uh, upload this file into dbfs which is stand for databricks file storage so here i'm going to upload my video uh, my uh, data config file okay now first of all i have to copy this path and then go back to my notebook environment where i'm going to create a new notebook for you so i'm going to uh, named it as a spark adding python file okay now you can see here after adding this uh, i have to check the spark availability on the notebook i have already created a uh, spark cluster so uh, here you can see uh, we have a spark session i spark contact version master uh, app name that is by default from the uh, databricks so i am just going to copy my file path in a local variable and because my file path is inside dbfs so i am going to use it now i have to pull all the PySpark module by using from PySpark import spark context comma uh, spark files okay now i need one more module one more library library that is my sys system library because i need to add this file into with the help of sys module so first of all i am going to call my spark dot spark contact dot add file so i am first of all i am going to add this file uh, over here that is path and then i am going to pass my local variable my python file okay now i have to check the actual file location in the spark in the database environment so i am using spark files dot get files name and i am passing the data config dot py that is my file name and after going to execute this it will show me the actual file path here now you can see it is saying it is showing the actual file path in local disk then there is a user file then the file name kind of stuff okay now now i have to check the actual root directory path for the for the for the spark environment so here you can see spark file dot get direct root directory so now we have added this file now i have to configure this file into my uh, environment so i am going to sys.path.insert 
Okay, so I'm going to insert this file over here. Okay. Uh, now I'm going to uh, spark dot spark file dot get root directory. Okay, now uh, uh, after executing this uh, co this code, now we are going to import my uh, data config file now which is already associated in this environment which is available now so first of all i am going to call the class that is data configuration and i am passing some messages like my spark process so whenever we are going to run this uh, my internal method in slide in slide method will call it and it will paint my spark process now i have now you are in the situation that you can call any method from your uh, python file which you have already added in your pyspark environment so data config dot uh, data configuration now this is my method aws credentials so here you can see for the demo purpose i am using uh, this uh, uh, file uh, this method and i have hide my actual credentials over here like my aws s3 key my aws s3 secret and my aws region so you can see it is very easy to add any python file any configuration file in pyspark and you can use them whenever you are going to uh, pull any data from these sources so guys thank you for watching us